Okay, greetings and Happy New Year. Uh, as I record this, it is still 2020. Uh, I like to get a jump on things. Um, this will be uh, your course welcome and lecture for the, the first week. Um, and we will go over the course and expectations and assignments and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, I think I've got all my slides updated here. Um, this is for, I, I have two sections, um, 20 and 21. Um, the, the content and everything will be identical for both. And I, I'm, I'm thinking that we will have a combined residency with those two sections. Uh, seems like they're scheduled on the same weekend here at the end of January. But we will proceed. Okay, uh, I'll give you a little bit about my background, go over the course objectives and flow. Uh, we've got a couple of um, uh, textbooks I've posted, nothing mandatory, but uh, good stuff for your, uh, your background. And uh, we'll talk about the assignments, special emphasis on academic honesty, and uh, my general overall expectations. And then we will conclude and get to work. Okay, so my background, I'm a, a information technologist, have been since the late 80s uh, when I got out of, I was an electronics technician and I, uh, uh, in the military, and I moved into computer programming uh, back in the mainframe mini computer days uh, of the late 80s. PC hadn't really come on, come on yet, but uh, it soon did. I was a software developer for uh, um, six years uh, working mostly in Oracle uh, databases uh, development and uh, Pascal and C and some report writing and um, some scripting at the operating system level, those sorts of things. Just a general purpose uh, utility programmer for six years and then moved into uh, software engineering for a little bit, looking at, at uh, software development processes and uh, uh, major system testing, those sorts of things. Um, Mid 90s, uh, you know, the networking exploded, local and wide area networking exploded. Um, so I got a master's degree in telecommunications uh, in the early 2000s, moved into network management um, uh, for a couple of assignments. Um, uh, spent the, the tail end of my, uh, my uh, IT career in, in enterprise information systems, um, doing systems integration, systems testing, integration laboratory, uh, work and um, records and information management, knowledge management level uh, things. Um, since retiring uh, from the military in, in 2012, I've uh, mostly focused in uh, academia training and education, uh, but all in all in uh, information technology. Um, my education, I've got a management information systems undergrad, a telecommunications master's, and my doctorate is in computer science. Um, just uh, about my character, my personality, uh, and the way I approach life. Um, I try to be helpful. Uh, I'm honest and energetic, and I'm hardworking. Um, my computer and, and aircraft maintenance background makes me, my military background makes me uh, somewhat precision-minded as far as language and uh, actions are concerned. Uh, I'm very friendly and trustworthy. Um, I've got friends all over the world. Uh, so I'm, I'm very socially active and engaged. Um, and, and I will go, I will meet you more than halfway uh, if you need help with this course or help with uh, education in general, particularly uh, um, writing. Uh, if, if English is not your first language, uh, I can help with phrasing, um, academic sources, your, your approach to things. Uh, you just, you, all you need to do is reach out to me. Uh, but you will find uh, that I am not particularly uh, understanding or sympathetic or, or easy, however you want to, however you want to characterize that. Um, so uh, yes, I, I, you, you, you could say that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stickler. I'm, I'm unforgiving. I'm un, I, I can't feel your pain. Uh, I, I, I have been accused of all these things of not being empathetic. Uh, and it's true. I've, I, there's just too many students and there's too many, uh, opportunities, uh, for fraud. Um, uh, if you, know, if you have uh, an illness or something slows you down in the course, please talk to your academic advisor. 
but don't ask me, please don't ask me to deviate from the course or to deviate from my principles and we'll be fine. Just want you to know who you're getting involved with. And if, if, if it sounds uh, imit intimidating, there are other sections of this, uh, of this course. Okay. That's my background. So the course objectives uh, are in the syllabus. You click on the simple syllabus, you'll see. Um, but we'll get into the data science cycle, uh, some data science tools as far as you know visualization and programming languages, you know Python and R, and, um, some Hadoop and and the the, the big data analysis uh, uh, Hadoop and Spark and um, and then unbeknownst to any of us, uh, the last almost half of this course is in blockchain. Uh, so uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a blockchain user or advocate or expert or anything like that. Uh, um, but uh, the last uh, and, the, and the, the final assignment is in um, blockchain. Now your residency will be in uh, data science, data analysis. Um, okay, so uh, another objective that I have that's not um really uh, written into the syllabus is to help you with your dissertation journey and help you become researchers and academic writers um so i will help you focus on scholarly writing um uh, reviewing literature in fact in the uh in the start here folder um there's some good resources on on how to review literature how to view literature um place it in context um and, uh, and I can help you focus on a research project for your dissertation. Um, and, and I will sprinkle um, lectures and material and everything that I've, that I've developed over the years uh, throughout the course, but uh, none of it will be really graded assignments per se. Um, it's just they, they, they ask us, you know, the university wants us all, all, all the people teaching this course to stay um, focused on the, the, uh, the assignments as provided. Um, but uh, eventually you're going to be working on your dissertation. And the sooner you start working on it, the better. The sooner you start thinking like a researcher and collecting materials and getting strong with your bibliographic software. Um, where you store your references and insert citations and references into your documents uh, um, automatically. That bibliographic software is fantastic. Uh, uh, so we'll talk a little bit more about that throughout the course. But those are the objectives, uh, uh, data science and big data analytics. Uh, there's, so there's no required text, but I posted uh, an item with two uh, useful textbooks um, attached in PDF format, and then uh, we'll use other um, other materials as they materialize and are necessary throughout the course. Okay. Uh, for the assignments for this course, you will have uh, seven discussion questions. Uh, please do not try and dictate or tap something out with the app. I look for a scholarly paragraph with uh, with citations and references. Um, so if, if, if I see a couple of sentences with the app, um, it's not likely to garner any credit. Uh, then you have five APA papers uh, that you will submit as Word documents. You have a final portfolio project um, that is uh, kind of a summary of blockchain. Now this is a data science course and the university has decided for the final assignment to be in blockchain. So take that up with the university. Um, now, uh, please make sure you read the reuse and repurposing policy uh, in my syllabus. Um, some folks try and turn in previous assignments, particularly during the residency session, because you do a practical connection assignment every term. Um, I've had to fail some people. Uh, actually a lot of people uh, for turning in old practical connection assignments um, because they let it sneak up on them. Um, so in big bold letters in the middle of the screen, no late assignments and no do-overs. So please don't even ask me 
to resubmit. Uh, there are we have a lot of assignments. If you get a less than uh, desirable grade, um, you make it up on the next assignment. Okay, don't don't ask me if you can resubmit uh, because I don't allow it. Um, if you take the course seriously and you dive in and you really absorb all the materials and you and you spend the time, you won't need any do-overs. Trust me. Um, this, this course, I'm an easy grader for good students, uh, for people that, uh, that, that are just, just winging it, just barely trying. I'm a horrible, I'm, I'm your, I'm your, your worst nightmare. So we'll see our residency session. Uh, this, uh, this course is, uh, the end of January. Um, and during that residency weekend, uh, it's like five hours Friday night, 10 hours on Saturday, and another five hours Sunday morning. Um, and it's virtual again. Uh, we're, we're, we're still under 100% under, uh, um, distance. Um, during that weekend, you will uh, turn in a, a, a few assignments. Uh, the practical connection assignment is an individual assignment. And then you will do uh, group uh, research papers and presentations on a data science uh subject of my choosing okay um a special note on plagiarism and rewording um, um there is an art to using someone else's findings someone else's assertions in your own writing such that you tell your own story, but you provide a citation that credits that other writer's thoughts without using the other writer's words or the structure of their sentences or the structure of their paragraphs or their section headings or anything else. Okay. Um, before your first paper, I will I will post a video that shows how I how I uh, cite sources and how I I look at that. Um, but uh, at the University of the Cumberlands, um, we deal with a an epidemic, a poisonous epidemic of unoriginality of article spinning and rewording other other paragraphs taking taking sentences and either running them through a, a, a website article spinner paraphrasing website um, or just changing some of the words to try and fool turn it in um, and I'll have students that have turned in something that's obviously plagiarized and they'll say but my turn it in score can you let, let's look at my turn it in report doesn't mean a thing okay um, and don't be a slave to grammarly uh, and, and, and Grammarly's suggestions. If it says you've got an overused word in Grammarly, that's fine. There are some words that will be overused in your, right, in your, your papers, um, because you're using the right word, uh, like big data. It's big data. It's not large information. Um, but the, uh, the university's policy, um, if I see, any sign of article spinning or plagiarism, plagiarism um, or using somebody else's structure and rewording or anything like that, anything even close. Um, the first offense is a zero for the assignment. Second offense is uh, fail the course and I notify the university and, and um, purportedly uh, the third offense, uh, you'll be dismissed from the program. So the key is to write originally start with a, a basically empty word document and do not cut and paste anything. Don't look at another article while you're typing and use those words and those sentences. And you need to, to learn enough about a topic, learn enough about it that you can write about it comfortably on your own but then when you know you're citing a particularly interesting fact or statistic 
or making a point about a study that had findings, then you cite that source. This is, it's not hard. It just takes time and effort, uh, but it's an easy concept. Okay. Don't cut and paste. Uh, I had a student uh, just this last semester that um, cut and paste a paragraph into her, into her paper. And then she says, oh, I'm sorry, I, I cut and pasted it. And then I was going to work on it. I was going to work on it. Uh, that's what I'm getting at. Don't do that. That's cheating. Don't use somebody else's ingredients and then try and change it around a little bit. Write from your own brain originally from a clean slate, from a blank canvas as we say and you'll be fine if you don't you won't and that's it that's all there is to it so don't try to pass off something you found on the internet or read in a book as your own thoughts okay don't uh and we'll get into that in uh um in the discussion posts um and uh i i i i i can't stand i have no tolerance uh for this academic dishonesty so I will go out of my way to fill out that report and send it in. Um, so uh, let's all, uh, this would be a wonderful, it'd be the first semester with Cumberlands if I didn't have any occurrence of this. And I always remain hopeful uh, that I'll get pleasantly surprised. So some of you at some point, at least one of you, historically speaking, um, I will tell you that your writing sounds like it came out of an article spinner. Um, and some of some students will say, I don't even know what that is. I don't know what a paraphrasing website is. Golly, gosh, I never heard of such a thing. And you're and, and they are lying. They have li I have been lied to many, many, many times. Um, so I'm putting it in this lecture so that no one can say they don't know what these are. And I want to point out a few things that jump out at me uh, because I read so much academic work. Um, things jump out at me uh, as being an article spinner. So if you look, these these two things, uh, I, I haven't submitted them to turn it in, but I, I, I think turn it in would would not identify these as plagiarized. But I want you to to look at the structure of these two side side by side um there the nouns have been changed and the verbs have been changed but the sentence structure is identical and that's plagiarism okay but then the other problem with these paraphrasing websites is that uh they will use the wrong word and like I said, don't let Grammarly, don't let Turnitin, don't let anybody uh, convince you to use the wrong word um, in so that you have, you know, so that you're not overusing a word. Some words are overused and they need to be overused. For example, the literature. You don't uh, in, in my paper, my original writing, this top block is something I submitted for my doctoral program a few years ago. Uh, and I said, this paper reviews the literature. Okay. And the paraphrasing tool.com says this paper reviews the writing. Nope. No, we never say the writing. You don't do a writing review. Okay. Your chapter two of your dissertation is not the writing review. It's the literature review. Okay. So when I see things like this and it's subtle, uh, but it's, it's things that you would never do if you wrote your papers yourself. Okay. And then a little bit later in that sentence, we say, you know, I wrote, uh, that I'm focusing on a specific type of user group. Uh, that's a common term, a user group um in information technology but look what the, the the paraphrasing website did a particular sort of client bunch there's no such thing as a client bunch there's a user group but there's no such thing as a client bunch so you can see as you look at these two um what the paraphrasing website did um it jumps out at me 
and and I will tell you, sounds like article spinning. And whether or not you used an article spinner or you chose to change the words and you chose your wording so that it sounds like an article spinner, um, it, it doesn't matter to me. There, it's the same thing. And you, I can't, you know, always, sometimes I can prove that you used, an, that people use an article spinner. Um, uh, I often can't. Uh, and it doesn't matter. Uh, you've got to write precisely, correctly. Uh, it's in the syllabus, the expectations of writing. Um, so anyway, uh, like I said, you know, if this doesn't apply to you, great, 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 great. I look forward to reading your work. If it does apply to you, if this is the way you've been getting by, uh, you're in for uh, some oh, somewhat of a shock. Okay, on uh, discussion boards, um, please post your original response by Thursday night, uh, midnight, and then uh, the standard now is two students, reply to two students or me. Um, please by Saturday night, that gives everyone Sunday to go in and go, oh, hey, thanks. Yeah, I never thought about that or whatever, to clean up the discussion, acknowledge your replies, you know, uh, um, on, on Sunday. If, if we all wait until sun, Sunday night, nobody reads anything and it's garbage. Okay. And I, I really don't like my time being wasted and I don't want you to waste your time. So uh, the discussion boards can be a complete waste of time when people don't use them correctly. Um, so we'll, we'll get into that. Okay, uh, same rules for plagiarism as with assignments. Uh, there's no turn it in, but if I see something that, that, uh, that, that looks either too perfect or it's not conversational, it doesn't sound like you wrote it, or if, if you talk about we in there, like we chose to study something, uh, there, there is no we. If you use the word we in this course in your play, your posts or your uh, or your papers, you better make sure I understand who the we is that we're talking about because you are you and you're writing your stuff independently. Um, but a lot of people, when they're cutting and pasted, they they cut and paste out of a out of a paper that had multiple authors, and they say we in this study we chose a sample of, and and it's plagiarism. Um, so there you go. Uh, same rules for citations and references only. Uh, you don't need a, 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 a page at the bottom. Okay, now, uh, look at these, uh, use personal, professional language, but personal. You understand? Uh, um, the discussion boards, I try to make them conversational. And I get about 25% of my students, I would say, over the last two years, um, do what I'm talking about. And the rest get bad grades in discussion because they don't listen. Um, in a paper, you normally avoid personal pronouns, but I encourage them in, in your class discussion posts, both in your initial re response, uh, but especially when you're talking to your other, your fellow students or me. Uh, I encourage personal pronouns. You should say, I was working on something at work last week and I noticed that something happened. You know, you should be personal when you're talking about your professional experience. Um, and you'll also notice uh, uh, the, the post first feature. Um, you, you should be used to that by now um, where you have to draft your initial response. I recommend in Microsoft Word. Um, and then you you paste it into your um, into the discussion board, as opposed to cutting and pasting from a journal article. It's okay to post your own write, cut and paste your own writing from your own word processor into the discussion board. Okay, now back to my warning, my words of warning. Because uh, I really do want everybody to get an A. Grading good work is easy for me. It, it doesn't take me any time at all to give an A for good work, um, which, which I appreciate. I appreciate in my colleagues. I appreciate in, in my students. Um, I appreciate good work. 
uh, and it's easy to see it. Um, but you know, it, you slow me down when, when you don't turn in good work, when you don't take the time to do good work. Um, so here's an example of an unacceptable response that I don't want to see and it won't get you any points. Okay. Um, greetings colleague. Uh, your post is full of wisdom and you are obviously an expert. It was well-organized, contained useful information that I appreciate your knowledge of the facts. Blah, blah, blah. And there's this long drawn out compliment at the beginning of a post garbage. Okay. It's that's garbage. Uh, all you got to say is, you know, uh, Hey, great post. Um, I saw the same thing happen at work and then move into your post. Um, you don't need three or four sentences of, uh, of praise before you actually get to the, the, the discussion. Okay. So please. Um, and then I want to add some points and then blah, blah, blah. Big data is the study of don't lecture your classmates. Okay. Don't, write as if you are an expert on these, you know, on big data or blockchain, um, you know, from your, uh, from your reading, the time to do that is in your academic papers and in your initial post. Okay. But when you are replying to fellow students, be conversational. Don't lecture them. Don't throw something out there as if as if you're writing a textbook to them okay talk discuss this is use the same tone um when you're replying to posts as you would if you were having a professional discussion at work in the conference room okay uh and if someone posts an initial reply that sounds just too good Run it through Google. Uh, if you see someone plagiarizing, um, or, or you know, and, and you you run their stuff through Google and it looks pretty good, uh, challenge them. Hold each other accountable. Uh, um, don't don't make me do it. And if if somebody posts, you know, garbage that is indecipherable, and you post, uh. You know, oh, that was very good. I just want to add some points, yada, yada, yada. Then neither of you will get any points for the discussion. Okay. So uh, take the discussions seriously. Use them to enhance the course, use them to enhance your professional networking. Or maybe another section of this course would be would be right for you because that's what I expect in the discussion. I expect professional discussion, not just checking a block and, and turning in some words within a timeline. Okay. All right. Uh, APA format, uh, it's required for papers. I'm not, a I'm not a, a, an APA editor. Uh, I look for a title page, a reference page, double space paragraphs, um, and good section headings, uh, section headings, really help um and you should you should look at the instructions for every assignment and pick out the section headings every, every assignment says cover this that and the other thing cover a b and c or then d you know each one of those concepts should have a section heading okay uh makes it really easy for me to see that you read and understand the instructions and that you are constructing your paragraph to solve the instructions or to satisfy the instructions. Uh, and always, of course, all references need a citation. All cited works uh, must appear in a reference list. We don't do works cited. We do APA format here, so there's references. Um, and you'll see throughout the course and like in the, uh, in the start here folder, lots of examples, templates and references. Um, and use them in class discussion, but you don't need a separate a separate page you could put you know references at the bottom um and you don't need a title page or you know anything like that in class discussion um but you do need to you do cite your sources and and uh and list your references in apa format i will occasionally see students just pasting a url 
in class discussion and that's uh amateur hour um so yeah apa format for everything like that uh now here's some general concepts i've had a uh i've had a student you know beg me to resubmit something and beg me for a better grade and and i talked to him on zoom and he was spending three hours a week in the on the class all together and uh it, it it's not gonna work guys uh you know 12 to 15 minimum uh i worked like a madman on my doctorate um just insane hours um so that's my expect my my expectation is that i see you uh um the results of uh many hours of work each week um i expect you to check your email daily answer my emails promptly um i i would wager 100 dollars that all of you have a smartphone um and you can download uh um, outlook or some other mail client and have email go to your phone um if i ask you a question um specifically if i email you individually uh about an assignment answer it right away okay don't you know acknowledge my email right away um and if i ask a challenging question answer the question answer my question don't just say oh can i do it over again uh when i if you know if i if i happen to catch you doing something uh um don't apologize and ask me to forgive you um answer your, the question defend your work okay don't turn in work that you can't defend it's pretty easy uh i expect you to ask questions um if you need help with you know with phrasing because Grammarly keeps telling you that you're overusing something or if, or if you need help with, uh, you know, your dissertation topic or, or anything, email me, you know, I, I, I expect to ask questions, but I, I, I get very little questions until like the end of the semester. And is there, can I do anything? Can I do over again to get my better grade? No, but you could have asked questions all along to get a better grade. So there you go. Um, monitor your feedback and address concerns immediately. Um, if you're taking the course seriously, um, which is the only, you know, I, I'm, I'm only taking the course seriously for students who are taking it seriously. Um, I, I, you know, talk to me about your feedback. If you have trouble with it, if you have concerns immediately after I post feedback, like that day, immediately, I've had people come out, come to me and say, um, you know, four weeks ago on that assignment, I think you should have given me a better grade too bad, too late. So sad address feedback concerns immediately okay uh now i have found uh dozens and dozens of my own i found my own slides i have found uh, uh students papers posted from cumberland's on course hero and study.com and whatnot um and you know, if if you go to a study site, uh, you you and it and it gets you a zero, uh, too bad. You know, and and are you here to get a PhD or are you here to go to study sites and copy other people? Uh, that's something you should answer for yourself. Um, uh, and I I think it was maybe spring a year ago, spring of t of twenty. Um, the the uh, the the university leadership told me we had they had we had to fail 37 people from courses because of getting together on social media and sharing work or you know or or sharing it via email or whatever uh, I've had students turn in the exact same paper in the same semester so they're obviously working together uh, I would I would tell you don't post your work to study sites don't share your work on study sites. There, I, I don't know of any reason you would do that. Um, if you wrote something you're proud of and want to put it on LinkedIn, that's another subject. But you know, you, you need to realize that you know study.com and Course Hero are cheating sites. They're, they're, that's what they're there for. They, they, they put up a facade of being legitimate, but that's what they're there for. They're there so you can cheat um okay next expectation don't make me feel like an adversary okay i'm here to help you 
Um, I love working with students who, uh, who want to do well. Um, but so often I am made to feel like an adversary. Um, so uh, if you want to work with me, work with me. If you want to learn from me, learn from me. Um, if you want to do well in the course, then please do well in the course. Um, but mainly is ignoring me. If I write you an email and I don't get an answer, uh, you are treating me as an adversary, as an enemy. That's the way I look at it. Um, so uh, if I do ask you a question, please respond right away. And, I, and I'll respond daily. Every once in a while, for some reason, I don't, I don't go into Outlook and, and check my email. But I've got it coming to my phone. Um, so normally I get notifications that you've emailed me. Um, okay. And then finally, my, my last expectation is get started early. Um, I will occasionally turn on statistics tracking. Um, and it's just disturbing the amount of people that try and be, um, uh, weekend warriors, weekend scholars, and not, not touch class, uh, throughout the week. Um, but at, at least get in, check out you know, look at the scope of the week's work early in the week so that, uh, so that you can at least post your initial class discussion by Thursday um, and have an idea of, of what your paper is going to look like so that you're not letting it go until the last minute. Because again, no late papers. Okay, now your week one to-do list. Uh, make sure you're, you're, um, you're scouring that week one folder um, the first thing to do is all of the plagiarism, uh, training and signing the pledge and uploading that, um, before you, before you can do anything else, you need to complete that mandatory, uh, plagiarism ple pledge. Um, I would like you to browse chapter one and two of data science and big data analytics. Um, for any of you working in this war, in that world, it's, it's going to be fairly, uh, fairly straightforward. Um, there's an introduction post in, in the week one folder. Please introduce yourselves. Um, if you don't introduce yourself to me, as I have taken the time to introduce myself to you, uh, what am I to think, right? If I don't know you, if I don't know your background, if I don't know what your, you know, what your thoughts and interests are to me, you look like a student that doesn't really care about the course, right? So make sure you introduce yourself, uh, the instructions and suggested topics are there. Um, please don't just blast a, hi, everybody, I'm living in Dallas, you know, a one sentence introduction. Um, because truly, uh, your introduction is indicative of your dedication to your education, um, I believe. So uh, then there's the, uh, the discussion on the 3F methodology. And uh, I would be particularly interested to know your thoughts on the article for the 3DF me methodology. Um, what particularly, what is your critique of it? What's, what, what could be done to improve that article? I, 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 would, I would love to see who has watched this video and who actually includes a section of what, you know, suggested improvements would be a, 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 a good header, heading in your discussion post. Suggested improvements to that article. Uh, because I, I certainly have, and previous students have commented on how that article could be better. And then make sure you review all the materials in the Start Here link. Now, it gets repeated every course, so if you've seen them before, great. Um, but please review all of those materials. In conclusion, um, there's the My Instructor link on the main page, the main classroom homepage. I've pasted my, uh, my background in there. Uh, um, all the assignments, policies, due dates, all that stuff are in the syllabus. Uh, so please make sure you read the syllabus completely. Um, remember, I have zero tolerance for plagiarism. I, I, will, I will bend over backwards to help a student that is truly taking the course seriously and writing originally and trying. Um, but I have zero tolerance for, you know, taking bits and pieces of articles and, and cramming them together and to, to try and make a coherent paper. Write originally from a blank document 
and you will you will be okay. Um, I really look forward to learning from you guys. Every semester, I, I learn so much from students um, that post what they're working on uh, at work. Um, and it's, it's uh, truly interesting. And if you all take those discussions uh, seriously um, and add your, your genuine insights, your opinions, your experience, um, your thoughts, um, then it turns that then the discussion board turns out to be really worthwhile. Um, but if you just add a few points, then it's garbage. It's absolute rubbish. So please, uh, don't turn our discussion boards into a pile of rubbish. Okay. And as always questions or concerns, uh, with anything at all, and, or if I, sometimes I'll, I'll forget to make something visible in the classroom. Uh, cause there's a lot of, a lot of places you got to click and, and enable, uh, in Blackboard, um, to make sure that all the content is visible. Uh, if I forget something, uh, um, please, uh, usually by Sunday at dinner time, I've turned on the week's content. I don't normally wait until Monday morning. Um, so if you can't see it, let me know, shoot me an email. Okay. I will see you all in class.